So the White House continues towards the path of implosion, uh, as aides are now being ignored completely in favor of cable news. So this cable news like, for example, Fox News, uh, and then you have other non-cable news sources uh, that he reads, things like Breitbart. But essentially, the president sits there and watches cable TV all day. In fact, uh, according to Raw Story, uh, the president rants against media on a nearly daily basis on Twitter. And that is absolutely true. Uh, but he also spends hours watching TV every day. Uh, and his aides say that factors heavily into his decision-making process, according to Washington Post reporter Robert Costa. Now, Costa was on Morning Joe uh, earlier, uh, and he told them, he said, the way that it's really described by me by a lot of Trump sources is that the president is isolated. Costa told MSNBC's Morning Joe, he's had these aides and advisors he counts on, but he's really watching television and relying on his own gut instincts. Oh boy. <laughs> that has caused some alarm inside the president's circle. That is, he becomes more besieged by political and legal problems that he could rely more on the fiery types around him and his own gut instincts than bringing in establishment Republicans. Now, Look, uh, if you're bringing in more establishment Republicans, this means you're getting more things done. That's a disaster. Uh, but at the same time, you let Trump do whatever he wants, there's also a good chance that that's going to end in disaster as well. So we're looking at disaster upon disaster here. That means disaster when it comes to the environment, disaster when it comes to the economy, disaster when it comes to foreign policy, disaster when it comes to Anything that you can name them, immigration. So what the president does is actually really important. So if he's relying on his gut, which is a terrible thing to do when you're the most powerful person on earth, and on cable television, that does not bode well for the country. Like I told you before, he is the Fox News president. He's the TV president, right? What you see on Fox and Friends is likely what Donald Trump's going to talk about, what he's going to tweet about, and what his main concerns are going to be. And it's not just Fox and Friends. It's Tucker Carlson. It's Sean Hannity. Those are the people who are running the White House. Donald Trump is basically nothing more than a parrot for their talking points. And not a very bright one at the first, uh, In you know, he's not very bright. Okay, he's not a smart person. He's not a very stable genius. He was never really bright in the first place. All he does is he gets his ideas from Fox News. And he is governing by what he sees on television. Disaster. There's more. Now, Costa said the Department of White House Counsel Don McGahn will leave yet another empty office upstairs in the West Wing. Inside the White House, Costa said it's pretty sparse. You have Kellyanne Conway. You have John Kelly who's been pretty beleaguered, not really political uh, political chief of staff, also perhaps looking for the exit. Sarah Huckabee Sanders has made it clear that she may not stay forever in this term. Uh, and look, uh, when, when Sarah Huckabee Sanders is eye in the door, you know you're in trouble. She probably, and this is my assumption here, but I'm assuming she hates her job. Maybe not for the reasons that you would think, uh, but look, she probably does hate her job, and, and I wouldn't blame her. But I think the real canary in the coal mine here is Kellyanne Conway. If Kellyanne Conway goes, well, then, okay, it's over. Now, Kellyanne Conway is not leaving. Uh, she's made that very clear. Uh, and there really hasn't been a whole lot of talk about her leaving. So John Kelly, of course, is being ignored. Uh, and so look, the White House is a mess. It's a disaster. It's sad. Now, Ivanka, on a related note, earlier today, uh, Trump tweeted about this, and this is related, uh, this is related to Don McGahn. Uh, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner had nothing to do with the so-called pushing out of Don McGahn. The fake news media has it purposely so wrong. They love to portray chaos in the White House when they know that chaos doesn't exist. Just a smooth running machine with changing parts. Don't worry, guys. Smooth running machine. It's a machine. I, I mean, if it's, it's so smooth that Donald Trump gets up at one in the morning and tweets out, no collusion, witch hunt. It's so smooth. 
it's so smooth that your aides continuously talk to the press and tell them what's actually happening and how you basically shut yourself in your own room with your cheeseburgers and Diet Coke and sit there and watch TV all day. Smooth running machine. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.